Uh, today's the Saturday before Easter Sunday, and Bizarre Furhead is busy harvesting the one day spread of egg tree seeds for next year. There's a key keeper driving very dangerously. Today's project, we're going to take a seed out of the old cold forgotten Buick. We're going to figure out why it's all floppy. We're also starting a new reality show called How Many Different Vehicles Is a Key Keeper Going to Operate in One Day? This is what we're going to fix today. This tendency for that to go flippa 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 because this bolt has broken off here. Oh, well, maybe I dropped the bolt across the wires and burn out the car and make me lose my vision or something like that. Spot well the range of the seat frame. <laughs> this is the hardest we've seen the key keeper at work in a while. We have got to put a radiator in that van. That's not going to be fun to do. No, it probably won't be. Yeah, what I'd do, I'd get some radiator stuff like from NAFA. You're not supposed to do that. That's actually used for plugging heater cores. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, it's Mother's van. She can just she can just deal with it, huh? I don't have a lot in it. I don't care. <laughs> At least I cut my hair so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have some bad body ride issues on this automobile. We are going to lose this pillar one of these days. Who needs B pillar? Oh, it's not that important, as long as you never open the door. <laughs> Ta-da! Now she's a real backseat driver. Yeah, it's all floppy now. Mess around with this Can't too like much. Floppy cock van or David's car. <laughs> <laughs> but floppier, only this is the floppy seat car. So oh man. Now we do the back. You could pin a bad guy in the back seat with this. Yeah, I guess you better try to get back here. Oh God, help me. What did I do to you? <laughs> Ow. You're thinner than me. That's what you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to be a thin guy to get in here. <laughs> no fatties here. Okay, let me back there. I'm armed and dangerous. Yeah, you are. Hey, that's a nice TV set. Yeah, that's more curbside discount finds if they actually work. Anybody hungry? <laughs> you pay more for a little bag of seeds at the grocery store if chewing on them is your kind of thing to do. Oh. Well, it's been nice knowing the key keeper. He may never come out of there again. That's one very loose seat. We try doing this in a movie theater sometime to amuse ourselves. <laughs> Are you ready for turbo destruction? We're always destroying something here. We're going to see if this fits on the other side. Talking to me. Turn it this one for Yeah, I sure did. Talking to me. It's getting ready to exact some kind of revenge, I'm sure. This looks dangerous. So did you actually decide you are going to take the seat out or not? I made up my mind yet. He's trying to see if the bolt will go up into the threads. If the bolt will go up into the threads, if the threads seemingly are good, then we just go get a bolt and we tie it down. If it won't go up into the threads, then we've got to do some engineering. I think it will. And you were right the way you're turning it was the way to loosen it. What, honey? The way we started to turn it yes. was the way to loosen it. Well, I was wrong because I decided it wasn't that way. The good news is that the key keeper has found that we are in luck. The hole in the seat will indeed take a new bolt, so all we have to do is get one because we couldn't find the old one, tighten it down, and our days of the rain of terror or the floppy seat should be over. I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, I'm going to go set somebody up with a universal remote, and then we'll be back and see what happens. Well, don't be too long. I'll try not to be. Well, I got that job done. Let's see how the key keeper and our dad have been doing. Well, it looks like they're contemplating over there. This we'll just have to see. We hit a momentary stoppage on this, the local hardware store. 
doesn't carry a replacement bolt that's suitable. So now the key keeper and I are going to pay a visit to a junkyard and see what we can find there, if we can find anything. And luck would have it, the key keeper and I struck out royally at the junkyard and at the local hardware store, so now we're going to go a little bit further out. Well, so far we've struck out at two hardware stores, the one junkyard's closed. Now he's asked the next door neighbor, what'd he find? Did you get lucky? Yeah. All right. Well, that'll be cool. A handy dandy neighbor gave me a bolt metric. The problem was I was using an English bolt, which doesn't work. Anyway, I got it in. Now this is the stuff, look at this, it's not a rocking chair anymore. And it fits. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's been that way for a long time, hasn't it? I think it's a reclinomatic. I think we made the first video of re-enlivening this car sometime in December of 2007. And here it is, uh, April of 2009. And in our best effort to get things done promptly, the getting things done people would not be proud of us at all. We now have this car completely fixed, and although it doesn't look like much, and some people have wondered why do we do such a thing in the comments and otherwise, this is an excellent running car and an excellent driving car. In fact, my dad took his wheels, his hands off the wheel on the interstate going 70 mile an hour. No lie, this car has 265,373 and 5 tenths of a mile on it. He took his hands off the steering wheel, and it just kept going straight forward. Mechanically, this car is as sound as they come. And now, you can sit in it without getting a trip to the back seat. No more back seat driving. Oh, I, th I like that feature. Well, nobody else did, and you don't drive yet, so... Well, you do drive. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. That's how we did it, with a little bit of help from our neighbor. So never underestimate how helpful your neighbors can actually be.